All right, Deja, thank you very much. At 6.02 this morning, the recovery efforts continue across the viewing area. Help could be on the way to some of the harder hit areas and people who still need places to live in these parishes that were just really destroyed by Hurricane Ida. Yeah, so 10 in particular are now eligible for direct temporary housing assistance from FEMA. That includes Jefferson, Lafouche, Livingston, Plaquemines, St. Charles, St. Helena, St. James, St. John, Tangipaho, and Terrebonne. If this applies to you under this program, you're able to tap into different short term housing options like mobile homes. But just a heads up, it could take a very long time to get one based on delivery, installation and construction. Some of those options may be provided by local governments potentially in the form of manufactured housing. It could include a travel trailer. It could include some what we call non congregate sheltering, mm -hmm. meaning sheltering that's not in a group shelter, but a place where a family can live, so it's at least a temporary dwelling for them. Well, FEMA is urging those of you impacted or displaced by the storm to also use our state's more immediate temporary sheltering program just as a, a bridge to recovery for the time being. Yeah, and speaking of that program, Governor John Bell Edwards recently approving that and officially authorized by FEMA. The aim here, the goal is to provide safe non-congregate sheltering. So they're asking all residents that if your home is unlivable and if you do need shelter, you can call this 844 number 268-0301 to register. You can also do so by going online to idasheltering.com. That's idasheltering.com.